Hi everybody, <coughs> it's Bonkai922 again. Now before I go into the fairy tale review, I just got a re I just got a comment by somebody. I forgot their name, but whoever gave me that comment, that that, thank you. It actually wasn't a comment they gave me. It was a picture. The picture is basically this the the interview that was done with Kubo and showing all these different pictures and things about questions asked about oh about Aizen and everything it's really intense if if anybody wants to find out about it just go to my recent bleach video I just did and look at it and you'll you'll probably see the comment on there and click on that picture unbelievable but that's that and this is this Fairy Tale Review, chapter 269. No title for this uh, chapter. Um, basically, nothing really going... In the beginning, there was really nothing going on. Um, beginning of the chapter, we get like two... We got a bunch of colored pages in this chapter. I like it. I like it. You, you, you know, you, you see the color pages, and you're like, you see color pages of... Two first two pages are of... Um, uh, Merity and uh, uh, Ultier, and they're on top of this cliff, looking down into the magic tournament, and they're talking about, you know, Urza and Gial and their relationship. Actually, the person that is acting as Mystigan, Mystigan, that's the real Gial that came from prison. That's part of that guild. So that's that. And the other color pages are basically of, you know, Mermaid Girl, uh, Quattro Cerberus, um, Fairy Tail A, Fairy Tail B, Raven Tail, and Sabretooth. And, and I'm the scale, too. So, that's all I little bit. And basically, the beginning of the chapter, really nothing going on. Just, just, just Mavis there explaining the rules. How, you know, game points are tallied. If you're basically first in the um, game, you'll get like eight points, and if you're last, you get zero points, and uh, and the whole business. Just explaining, just explaining, and then we're all sitting, standing around the the combatants, waiting for the game to begin. And you know, I think God, Gray was the one who mentioned, "Oh, you know, what's up with that pumpkin guy? What's up with you?" He's like, "Oh, you know, I'm pumpkin, you know, so bump the pumpkin guy and." And he's basically creating, using magic to create the field. And it's basically this town. And everybody, and this is, before we go into this, one guy made a comment. Um, the guy from Sabretooth. I forgot his name. He made the comment of saying that, you know, just because you guys have two teams of the same guild doesn't mean that you have the advantage. That can become a disadvantage. He was basically saying that. Talking shit. But anyway, the, talk, the game begins, and basically they're all separated. All the combatants, all the different, you know, people in, in the in the first game are separated from each other. And they're in certain areas in of the town. This town that was created. All of a sudden, something else is created. Clones! And Grace like, He's got this weird face on, and he's like, and he's like a bunch of clones of the combatants walking around of everybody of Gray, of Juvia, clones of Gray, Juvia, um, Leon, all, all the other combatants. Forgive me if I don't remember all the combatants that are in this. I only know Juvia, Gray, Leon, um. The others, I don't really remember their names. Eve, from Blue Pegasus. And basically, <laughs> they have to figure out... They Basically, the rules of this game are... It's timed. Notice the King of Lion didn't mention that. That it's timed. 30 minutes. You have 30 minutes to go through the town... And find the actual person... The actual combatant, the real one. So you got to find the real, like for for Gray, he's got to find the real Juvia, the real Leon, 
and the other commands from, from Raven Tail, you know, and so on and so forth. And it's difficult because what happens is Juvia is like, she's like, oh, so many gray samas. So she hugs one of the, oh, one of the grays. She loses a point. Oh my God. What a stupid idiot she is. She just hugs one of them and she loses a point. And Gaju's like, stupid. <laughs> he, 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 he says stupid because she did something stupid. That was stupid to do. Whatever, but anyway, as it goes along, we don't see you don't see what's happening to the other combatants. The only people you see are Gray, Juvia, and the guy from Raventon. I forgot the guy. I think um, King Lion called him his Pudding, Pungingu, Puddingu, whatever his name is, Pudding. P well, I'm going to call him Pudding from Raventail. And basically, what happens is. Gray sees him talking. See, the clones don't talk. So the only way you would be able to find the real person is you would actually have... This is actually very ingenious by... Very ingenious by Hero. Um, very ingenious what he did here. Um, and basically, you if they talk, then it's... But you see, the guy is behind his clone. So when Gray attacks... He loses a point. And guess what happens? He gets transported. See, if you lose a point, you get transported at that point. But here's what makes, the, to me, is kind of strange. The guy that he was supposed to attack found him again and attacked him again. And he lost another point. And, that, and that's pretty much what happens. And you get this sense, everybody's worried about Gray. He's already lost. He's already down two points. And it basically shows you negative two so, in essence, in order for you to win the game, for Gray now, he's got to beat this guy. And he's got to beat, he's got to beat three people. In order to, you know, get ahead. And Juvie's already down one as well. So, that, that's pretty much what happened, really. And... When Gray attacked this guy, he used, um, Ice Hammer, but it was weird. It was weird the way he used it. It was like, it was very, much more powerful. Much more powerful than it was beforehand. So obviously, the time arc thing worked. The time arc that Ult here did to everybody worked to a T. Now obviously, this is just beginning, but and the guy who attacked him, the guy from Raventail... He turned his, his arm, became this spiked arm that extended and pff, hit him in the back. And he's like, you again? Let me tell you something. And I want to, and King Link, I got to ask you this too. The game for Sabretooth. He does got to watch out for Raven Tail. They, they, they are, they're, I think, you know, of all the things to say about them, here's the one thing to say. They may not be a dark guild. I mean, they might be a legit guild, but the fact of the matter is, they're going after Fairy Tail. And the fact of the matter is, that's a, they have a vendetta. I have a feeling that's what it is. Raven Tail has a vendetta against Fairy Tail. And here's the one thing I'm going to wonder. And this is actually upsetting that Hero did. Hero, what he should have done, in my opinion, would have even been more great, would have been more spectacular. If he did this, allow the masters to fight. Because let's say he did. And let's say Team A is, let's say Team A is, um, let's say Team A is the way it is. But Team B is Makarov, Loxus, uh, Mira Jane, Gajil, and Mystigan. And we don't put in Juvia. Then you got something to watch. Because let's say, down the road, Makarov faces Ivan! Then you got a show. Then you got... And then people are going to be like, holy shit! But this still is going to be good, though. Raven Tail's got a vendetta against Fairy Tail. And they're going to gun them down any way they can. And this guy is already gunning down Grey, so... 
holy shit, this is gonna be great. Um, rating, I'm not gonna get, I forgot what I got, gave last week. I think I gave it a 5 out of 5. This one, I will go with 4. 4 out of 5 this week for Fairy Tale. But let me tell you something. Hero's doing a very good job. He's really pushing it. He's really pushing this to a degree to say, wow, this look, you know, it, it really is becoming grander. And it would be really awesome. Really if it can continue in this pace. But the way things look now, it's going to take a while to get through these games. You know, I mean, you know, this chapter, we only got like halfway through the first, like partway through the first game, and there's still more to do. So we'll have to see how that transpires. Um, but yeah, good, very good, 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 good. Good job, Hero, once again. Once again, he's doing a good job. You know, maybe this is it. Maybe. Maybe now, now that we're at the cup cusp of the final arc of Bleach, maybe this is the show to replace it. Maybe this is it. But we have to wait and see, though. I have to wait and see what this brings out. I want to see more. I want to see more of this to escalate. Good man. Oh yeah, fairy tale. Doing good, doing good. Um, but yeah, I like what I see. Um, that's gonna be it for videos this week. For the, you know, not gonna do. Uh, we'll see. You know, probably tomorrow I'll do. Um, what I'm gonna do tomorrow? Oh yeah, fairy tale episode review. See how that goes. Um, but after that, well, we'll see. So far, so good. I like what I see for Fairy Tale. It's doing very well. Doing very well for itself. Okay, so this is Bonkai922. See you guys later. Man, Raven Tale. They're after Fairy Tale. It's gonna get good, man. See you guys later. <laughs>